the mobile door grooming vehicle now known as the Fushin Mang. It's 2003 Dodge converted by wagon tails. And here I'm going to try to show you some of the ins and outs of the German van. Tires are the original tires. They have about 20,000 miles on them. This is the back of the grooming van. To your left is the central vac that vacuums all inside the grooming van. The clipper vac is mine. I think I'm taking it with me. Um, closer view. This is the plumbing, the super sudser, and the fresh water, the antifreeze system that I have to have fixed, canine dryer. Over here is the circuit breakers to keep everything working inside. Very simple. There's a um, water heater that you just put on that works with the generator to keep your water heated if you don't want to use propane. This is the back plug, and that's for when you, um, in the winter time, if it's going to go below 32 degrees, you want to keep your plumbing warm. So you put the little ceramic heater that will be supplied in the back plug hole and you plug the van into shore power and you just run the little heater back here and it keeps your plumbing from freezing. This is the driver's side of the van. this is going to come out, but this is the upholstery on the inside, with my little Tweety Bird there. This is the, I can't see what I'm doing, but this is the steering wheel, the middle of the van, passenger side, everything's real nice and clean. Now we'll go for a, a walk inside the unit. We'll go around here. Don't get dizzy. This is the inside. Um, that's an electric table right there. What, see her? Huh? Isn't she cute? Her name is Fifi. She says I've got a new poochie too. This is, um... Alright, there's a kid crying outside. This is where you hold your equipment. Um, over here, I have a blade holder that I have to screw back in. You have the uh, stereo in the back that plays CD in this little slot here. It's also Sirius ready. Um, I never hooked up the Sirius part of it, but it can be done. Backing up, the van does have a crate over here to your right, and to the left is the storage compartment that holds a whole bunch of stuff, and there is a whole bunch of stuff in there right now. As you can see, those two black things on either corner, upper corner of the screen right now, those are the speakers for the stereo system. 
stereo system goes on with a flip of the switch over here. Oh, the van is not tuned in, but that's the stereo. Um, you have a view when you're grooming dogs. I'm standing at the grooming table right now. These two posts that I'm talking about are screwed into the top of the table. So they are extremely secure. They're not going any place if you got a big dog who's going to hang, going to try to jump off, not going to be controlling. It's not, the posts aren't going anywhere. Um, this is the tub area. It's a fiberglass tub. With all the big dogs and the long nails that I've done, I haven't had any, as you can see, along here. Well, that's dirt. Great. I should have wiped it off first. But anyway, this is the tub. It's all clean and nice. Wagon tails put in a laundry chute. That goes to the back of the van that you visited before. Um, you just throw your dirty towels through there so you don't have them hanging out on the floor in the van. Um, water goes on and off. Over here, sorry about that, pan too quick. Over here we have, um, this is not in use. This never was used. It, just forget about it. This is your water heater. You just turn it on when the generator is on and it goes on to uh, heat your water. This is the water pump. This is the super sensor. <laughs> Um, this is a tank level display that shows you your gray tank, how full it is. Right now it's empty. Your fresh water, I have a third of a tank. And battery is fully charged. That's the battery that starts your generator. And our LP, which is propane tank, says that it's two-thirds full. Hmm, I have to check that. The generator, hours... I'm not going to get a clear view of this. There's 2,688 hours on the generator. Um, the oil's been changed every month. And these are shelves that run alongside the in interior that go the whole length here, where you store stuff like this. And there's one over here on this side. It's a shorter one. In here, on both sides, this is one little blemish. It came from bleach. Don't don't play around with bleach because it messes up the vinyl. Sorry about that. That is one little blemish back here. Here we have um, a compartment for your shampoos, conditioners, and on the other side, I keep the towels, which would be nice if that was neater. I keep the towels on the other side um, so that you always have towels, dry, clean towels for your dogs to dry them off. Um, sorry about the spinning again. And once more, here's the front of the van. Dry the side. See how nice the seat is in good condition. Passenger side. I have to take this up with me, unpack it, and drive it to you. And this Pooch and Me van, which I called it Pooch and Me, you'll call it whatever the name of your business is. This is the Pooch and Me, and um, this was the tour of my van. Bye.